Hello everyone, I'm Brandon with Lenovo and I'm here today with the M93P Small Form Factor Desktop. Today we're going to be replacing the PCI card. This process will take about 10 minutes and it should be easy enough for anyone to do. There are no tools required to do this. Before we continue, we need to make sure that we're protected against electrostatic discharge or ESD. Make sure to shut down your computer and disconnect all cables and accessories from the system. For more information, watch our Understanding Electrostatic Discharge video by clicking the link in the description. And now that we're ready, let's get started. To remove the computer cover, we must remove two thumb screws in the back of the machine. The first thumb screw and the second thumb screw. Then we're going to press down on the release button and slide the cover towards the rear of the chassis and remove it. And now we're going to remove the fan duct, which is done by pulling these two clips apart and then lifting the fan duct from the system. PCI Express card slots come with a clip that needs to be pulled back in order to release the card. Because it is difficult to see this clip with the card installed, I've removed the card in order to show you. To remove the PCI Express card, we just lift up on this retaining latch until it opens and then reach in and press inward on the retaining clip and pull the card out of the socket and then out of the system. So here we have our replacement PCI card. To replace the PCI Express card, insert it into the chassis at an angle and then align it with the socket and press down until the card is fully seated. Then you're gonna flip up the retaining clip and press down until it latches. To replace the fan duct, you just align the duct with the fan and then press down on the duct until the two clips lock into place. When replacing the computer cover, we want to assure that we're lining up the tabs on the cover with the slots in the chassis. Just kind of place the cover down onto the chassis and slide it forward. Finally, we replace two thumb screws in the rear of the machine. The first thumb screw, and the second thumb screw. 